So tell me where we are. This is the JSA, the Joint Security Area between North and South Korea. This is one of the rare areas where North and South can actually meet. And which side are we on? Uh, we're still on the South Korean side right now. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, stepping over into uh, South Korea. That has never happened before. So that's the North Korean. The concrete line there marks the military demarcation line between South Korea and North Korea. So uh, in November of 2017, there was a North Korean soldier who defected, and it would have been just over there, drove his Jeep over. He had to bail out. He was being shot from the back, sprinted across into the South Korean side, and, and was saved by South Korean surgeons. Now, what happens if I just start walking this way? Is this dangerous? Uh, it might create uh, an incident. How close would I get before I get shot? Probably, this is probably too far. You wouldn't want to go... Uh, no, just, just, just... Kill me! Now, this would be a terrible idea, but... Where are we sitting right now? We're in a movie set. This is a fake version of the JSA. Why couldn't you go to the real area? Uh, they probably wouldn't give filming permission to Comedy Central. <laughs> That's right. About 50 miles south of the real DMZ sits a full-scale replica. And the fact that this place even exists proves South Korea's fascination with the North-South conflict. Why would they build a movie set? Tourists, if they want to come and take photos and stuff like that. Why do you think South Koreans are so fascinated with North Koreans? North Koreans and South Koreans have been so isolated for 70 years. Mm -hmm. So if somebody sits down and they're like, hey, by the way, I'm from North Korea, then all of a sudden you have a bunch of questions. And lately, North Korean defectors are becoming social media stars for that very reason. Millions are watching their stories and asking them anything online. So I sat down with North Korean defector and YouTuber Lee Fung. When did you defect from North Korea? I escaped twice. When I was eight, I failed. When you got caught, was there ramifications? Me and my grandma, we had to go to jail. You went to jail as an eight-year-old? And sneaking out of North Korea is actually just the first of many steps. It's virtually impossible to go directly from North Korea to South Korea. You have to go north to China. You have to somehow get all the way out of China without getting stopped by the Chinese police. What happens if the Chinese police catch you? They just throw you back in North Korea? North Korean authorities then will torture them, uh, you know, subject them to forced labor. Just, just slave labor? Just slave labor. Yeah. Right. yeah. Angela Kim also defected from North Korea 10 years ago. I was an actor in North Korea, propaganda student troupe, to tell people not to escape from North Korea. That was your job? Yes. And were you always plotting to escape yourself? Were you like, hey, don't... It's like, it's like when I tell people, like, don't take drugs. 